it's Shannon with Our Piece of Earth, and today we're going to talk about an online math program. This math program is called MathAndAlgebra.com, and we are talking about the One Year Family Subscription. So what this is, it is four complete math courses for elementary, intermediate, pre-algebra, and algebra one are the four courses you would have to choose from. So the lessons are designed with a video tutorial, a lesson, quizzes, and then both a parent and a student dashboard. Um, this program is designed to be used four to five days a week and is based on the Math Essentials books. So if you have used those or seen them, you know what I'm talking about. As your children complete assignments and quizzes, they have the chance to earn medallions and badges Go back and check and say, hey, I've worked really hard. Look what I earned. Um, I know that's fun for them. And as my kids earn those awards, it sends me an email saying that they earned them, which is nice for me to see. So here today, right now, we're in the group leader console. So this is me. Over here, I can go to my students, and it will show me my students that I have logged in. Um, it actually shows their last name, so I'm not going to click on that for you guys right now. Um, but I will click over here is my dashboard so you can see the different math classes and um, which ones the kids have been working on. So you can click on those and like right here, it will show you maybe their course progress and um, how they've been doing. So that is really weird that it says November 4th, 602. So the date must be wrong on here for me. So here you can click which course you want to go to, and then here is my profile with my details. So this is the parent dashboard where you can check up on what your kids are doing. I am going to log out really quick and switch back to the student dashboard so I can show you around the course from the way your students are looking at it. Okay, so here we are in the student console, and I'm under my son Charlie here. So... You guys, I don't know, it was showing what course he was doing and now it's not showing that there. Um, but that doesn't bother him. When he needs that, he knows he can just click here and go to basic math. So here we are and if you scroll down this sidebar, you can see all of the lessons that there are. And then there's their basic math final quiz. So this will be all the different things that they have to go through. And so they can easily see where they're at. So what this is going to be is a short video lesson. So we're just looking at the very beginning one. But here's adding whole numbers. And I'm just going to play a little bit of this. Just a few Hey, welcome to our very it. first official lesson. Just want to give you a few of my students. First time we work with addition of whole numbers, I like to draw a little arrow here. And the phrase I give them is the right side is the right way, meaning we line our numbers up on the right side and we begin our addition on the right side. Some people ask why? Well, I think you really know. If you look up here, we've got the ones places. That's this, this column is the ones place. And you've got the tens and then you've got the hundreds and so on. Notice too that I've switched over to red ink because what I want to do is copy problems down and use this red ink to kind of guide you and you will know where we're at as far as the problem. So when you got an addition problem, set it up vertically like this. We'll start on the right side. It has to do with larger. And so when you have to readings, Okay, so that's just a little quick glimpse of the video, and as you can see, it's like five minutes long. Most of them are around four or five minutes long. So then underneath the video is going to be the instructions for your children. So make sure you have a pencil and pe paper ready before you begin. Watch the video until you understand the concepts and methods covered, which means if they really don't understand it before they even start the work, they can watch it again and again and again until they figure it out. After they have completed it, download the worksheet using the link below and print it. Copy the exercises to the sheet of paper and solve it, making sure you write out your own work. This will make it easier to find a mistake. If you're unable to complete the prop problem, review the video until you understand it. Then when you're finished, check your work against the answer key below. So right here you're going to see two different downloads. This first one is going to be the worksheet and the second one is going to be the answer key. So I'm just going to click on this real quick just to show you what the worksheet looks like. So they are saying to take this, print it out, and actually copy the problems into a notebook. Um, 
I have allowed my kids to do the work on the pages here unless they need more space then they rewrite them on another sheet um, because to them it was just they were getting so mad about having to rewrite the problem if they didn't need to and it was not a battle I was willing to fight with them um, and for my son this is math that he is pretty good at so he doesn't need the extra space he can do this very quickly in his head um, so this is just what the worksheet looks like. And so um, to me, if I'm having them copy it, I just have them copy it right from the screen instead of printing out a page we're not going to write on. Um, but that is totally a judgment call on your part and what feels best for you. So the second link here is going to be the answer key to those problems um, so that you can check the work if you need to. So when your children are done, um, You'll go to next lesson. I'm just going to click down here really quick because we have finished it. But before I do that, I guess I will show you here. As you see, once they get done, there is going to be a quiz for them to complete. So let's look at charts and graphs. Um, oh, I maybe can't go that far because I didn't do all the lessons. Okay, we'll just go to fractions. He has not started this at this point yet. Um, so when you click on a new lesson, your students are going to go down here and as they complete it they can mark this lesson complete by clicking that button it will automatically take them to the next lesson and what is nice is when they get down here to this quiz and they know there's or even maybe they do the quiz right away and they're struggling there's just concepts they are not understanding they are able to go back to the ones they've already done relearn that concept work on it a little more um so I'm going to, I don't know which one I want to show you this on. I'll go back up here and click on this and just show you this quiz here. And this was a short, I think this one happened to have been five questions. So we'll start the quiz and I'll give you an idea of what it looks like. So this is that. And again, they'll have their pencil and notebook handy so that they can do the work on the paper to solve the problem. And when they complete it, it will tell them how many they got right or wrong. So then they'll go through and they will have this final math quiz at the end of that lesson. Or not the lesson. Oops, I'll take it back. You can't go there yet, though. Um, did it log me out again? Because it has done that to me today. Okay, so that is what the student dashboard looks like. Now I'm going to go over here and hover over this profile icon where your students will be able to navigate to wherever they need to go. So if I go over here and take us back to the student console, and we're gonna see this. So go to course right there, I showed you that. So now I wanna show you my badges. So this is where your kids get their awards for the work that they have done. So here we go. Um, each score of 100 on a basic or advanced math chapter, each score of 70 to 79 on a course final quiz. Um, so each one's gonna tell you what they can earn those for. So this is all the ones they can earn. So let's go here and see my badges. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry guys. I don't know what's up with our internet. It is so frustrating that it just boots us off. Okay, so these are the awards that Charlie's earned so far. The basic math whole numbers and the algebra silver cup. So this is a fun spot for them to go and check out. And there's not a lot of like silly goofy play around stuff that they can go get distracted on and not actually complete their lesson um so here you can go to the student transcripts once they've finished things if you need to keep track of that for your state so again each lesson is broken down into the video tutorial that's usually around five minutes long the lessons and then after they go through all the lessons for that subject they will get to the quizzes at the end and then ultimately the final test so this is mathandalgebra.com. I'm going to show you in a minute um, just an example of the work that my son has completed um, from one that I could find that didn't get thrown away right away. Um, so we have been using this probably, we do school three days a week right now, but we pack four days worth of schoolwork into it when we can. So we are doing this three to four times a week that my kids have been working on this. And there are times where the subject they're learning about, I know for my daughter, is especially during fractions, 
where it was challenging material that definitely took her more than one time through to really get the um, get the concept and be able to apply it correctly without struggling and having to rewatch the video. So it is nice that you can go at a slower pace when it comes to that and you can just keep redoing the lesson. Um, however, I did find that there's not additional worksheets, so they're doing the same problems each time if they just use the examples on here. So that was one thing that I did notice about that if they have to keep going over a certain concept multiple times that we would make up our own problems. So this is mathandalgebra.com. I'm going to see you in a minute with the example of our page that we have done. Thanks. Okay, so now I have shown you the basic math program. I just want to click through advanced math pre-algebra and algebra so that you guys can see the topics covered in those courses. So here is the advanced math. So whole numbers, fractions, decimals, percents, geometry, integers, charts, graphs, word problems, and then the final quiz. So um, now we're going to go to pre-algebra. Okay, and so sets, integers, I cannot say that word ever, fractions and decimals, I'll just scroll through, you guys don't have to hear my lovely voice. So this is what they're going to be learning in the pre-algebra, and then we're going to go to the final course, algebra. So just to give you an idea of the different things that are taught in these classes. So that is where I'm at. I just wanted to give you guys a peek at that before I end this part of the video. So I will see you in a minute to show you some examples of the kids' work. All right, guys, I'm just going to real quick give you a peek at this. Um, so this is an example of the work from Whole Numbers from Basic Math. Um, so like I said, I allow my kids to do the work on here. That's a choice that you can make as a parent. Um, the program recommends having them write it out on paper. And then this is an example of one of the fraction worksheets that my daughter has been working on. Um, and so I like the way they do these different things. Like here you're writing the fraction and here for extra credit, let's draw a figure for these fractions on a different sheet of paper. But so you'll notice the assignments have a review, some sample questions if you need to go over them, helpful hints, and then their assignment right there. So if you have any questions, drop me a link. Otherwise, I'm going to leave you. Drop me a comment. I don't know. My mouth doesn't work right. Okay. If you have any questions, leave a comment, and I will try and answer them for you. Otherwise, I'm going to leave some links in the comments so you can check out mathandalgebra.com. Um, check out any of the four programs that might work for your family and see if this program could be a good fit for you. Um, I know right now there are a lot of people looking for an online math program because math is not their strong suit and this might be exactly what you guys are looking for. So I really encourage you to check it out um, and see what you think. I'm also going to leave a link in the comments so that you can also check out some other reviews from other blogger friends of mine and what they have to say about mathandalgebra.com. So I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks a lot for watching.